היי גייז! This is my entry to this week's challenge using the editator from Bog Audio. I've used stages from mutable instruments as a sequencer and also as an AD envelope. I've added some distortion or some saturation using the Briatus from Vult. And some nice movement using the 8FO also Bog Audio and the Booty Shifter from Squinky Labs. So let's start. Okay, so here it is, the editator. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we are dealing with. Let's add also a scope actually, so we can see it also on the scope. So we have a oscillator, a additive oscillator with up to 100 partials, and the partials are actually sine waves. So let's take this all the way down for a second. With this knob, we can change the amount of sine waves and connect it to the scope. So we can see our sine wave and as, uh, we can start adding also more partials or more sine waves and change the sound. You can see how it's changing and we get many more harmonics and much brighter sound. Let's leave it by default now. And we can change the, um, the tuning or the frequencies of the different partials. They will be default, at default they will be an octave apart. But we can change this with this width knob and change the frequency. Very cool. And we can also change the frequency of only the odd, um, odd numbered sine waves or the even numbered sine waves with the O skew or E skew. It's just it's, it offsets their frequency. So we can change the sound even more. And this, those three will also, of course, change the tuning also. So we can, uh, so we should be careful with them if we want to create something, I don't know, in tune. <laughs> then we have the gain knob, which will control the output gain. It will not go all the way to zero, of course, but you can uh, gain or offset the level of the output. Then we have, <clears throat> sorry, then we have the decay knob, which will change how the level of the frequencies goes goes down as much as you go higher in pitch or higher in frequency. So like I said, let's say for example, now we have 20 different uh, sine waves. So as, as much as you go higher in frequency, the level will go down, which means that the lower frequencies or the lower frequency sine waves will have more amplitude than the high frequency sine waves which we can also change with the decay knob. Then we have the balance that will change the level balance or the amplitude balance between the even and odd numbered sine waves. And then we have a filter which will act like a low pass filter to the left and a high pass filter to the right. And you can see this also on the scope until we get, never mind what we are changing here, we get uh, just a normal sine wave. So we can make the sound brighter or darker. We can choose between the, uh, two different waves, a sine wave and a cos sine wave, which is also interesting. And of course, everything we can control with CV, which is beautiful. Bog Audio has some really, really nice modules. And that's it. And I think we can start. So we went through all of the different sections. And let's start making something. And I don't know what to do. Actually, I think I will use again stages. I really enjoy or I really fell in love with, uh, with using it as a sequencer. So what I will do, I will take the in sequencer mode, if I change uh, everything here to sequencer mode, if you want to know more about uh, stages, there will be a link in the description to a video I made about it. It's a long video, but it, it's an interesting module. Looks simple, but it's really deep. So if we go, if we click the, this button until it's yellow, that means it's in sequencer mode. And in sequencer mode, those knobs here will be a sort of a glide. So the voltage will glide between one step to another. 
So let's take this down for a second. And let's take all the uh, values also down and see what we can do. Take the levels down of the steps. Let's have a six step sequence first. Let's change the BPM a bit. Uh, take a multiplied clock and run the sequence. So in, in this uh, module, we start counting from right to left. So if you want six steps, we count one, two, three, four, five, six. Here will come our gate. And from here, we will get our voltage. So let's use also a VCA because I don't want the whole range. And let's use the fundamental VCA actually. Take uh, close it a bit and send the CV from stages to the VCA. And let's use quantum to quantize the signal, enter a nice uh, four notes is enough. And then the voltage from the VCA to quantum. And let's send this to the editor. Very nice. Now I want also, let's use another stages actually. Opalach and have us a nice AD envelope, a tech decay envelope. So let's use, let's use the gate coming out of quantum to trigger the envelope. So again, we start counting from right to left. One, two, attack. This will be our attack and attack time. Uh, really snappy. And decay, let's say decay a bit up. And from here we will get our envelope. So let's have another VCA. and send uh, the oscillator through the VCA and use our envelope to modulate also the VCA. Very nice. Let's open the VCA here a bit. Why are we not getting anything? Ah, because it's closed. Okay. And this will go to the mixer. Now we can start playing with the steps here. Let's close the delay just a bit. Okay, and what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to modulate the steps. I really uh, um, enjoy this sequence uh, mostly because we can modulate each step. So let's add brains from the geodesics collection. Let me just write here on the piece of paper that I will put a link to stages, maybe also to brains really interesting modules, Opalach, really interesting modules. Let's change it to the dark side, of course. Haha. -ha. And let's take a divided clock. Let's divide it by four, for example, and run. Let's run the lower brains and we can change now. It's a new feature. We can change the range. We can change the range of the outputs here. So if I'm not mistaken, we will get now from the right side, we will get zero to positive two volts. So it's perfect for pitch because each volt is one octave. So we get two octaves here. If I'm not mistaken, it's two. Maybe it's zero to five volts. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a lower range. So we can use this to modulate stages. So let's see. Let's modulate the second stage. Take it to the middle for a second. And let's modulate also the last three. change in pitch and change in sequence. It's really subtle, but it's really nice. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed this sequencer. Let's turn just the volume a bit down. Very nice. Now what we can do, we can add... Hmm, let's add another oscillator very nice and let's add also stack also from bog audio there are really some gems in this collection and let's see 
let's use another VCA. So let's let's delete this VCA here and use the Bog Audio's VCA. It has uh, Bog Audio have um, double VCA, dual attenuator, very nice. So this will be our first oscillator. Very nice. And let's add also the second one. So we'll use the same envelope. Um, we'll use the same envelope from stages, the attack, de uh, attack decay envelope. And let's send the oscillator, the second oscillator to the VCA. And let's use the same voltage that's coming out of uh, from quantum, but send it first through stack. So we can maybe raise the pitch by seven semitones and then send it to the second oscillator. And then this will go also to the mixer. Let's lower the volume just a bit. Maybe pan them a bit to the left, a bit to the right. Very, very cool. Now we can start modulating the oscillators, modulating editor, editator, editator, like the terminator. I'll be back. Editator, okay. <laughs> So let's start modulating. Let's add the 8FO from Bog Audio. Again, Bog Audio, amazing modules. 8FO is an LFO with eight different phase outputs, which means that we get the same LFO, but in different phases. So we can modulate all sorts of stuff. We just have to change this to slow mode to get an LFO, and let's make this really slow. Let's take the scale also down. Let, let's add another scope just so we can see this. So this will be the, our first output. Uh, you can see it like this. Okay. So this is our first output. The second output will be a bit out of phase. You can see. And so on. And we we'll go more and more out of phase as we go down the outputs here. And we can also modulate the different phases, which is amazing. And what I want to do now, we have a signal from negative 5 to positive 5 volts. I want to reduce this range a bit. So I go to scale and I lower the scale. I want really subtle movement, something like this. Very nice. Let's make this really slow. Delete this, the scope. I will save this patch already. And now let's start modulating um, the first oscillator. Let's modulate gain. No, let's modulate decay. Um, balance, let's jump one output, um, filter, what else, partials maybe also, very nice, and now we can modulate the second one with the different phases, again decay, balance, um, partials, and filter. I can listen to this all day long. I love this sort of sequences. Simple, moving, a bit organic. Uh, what we can also do, we can add also a glide here somewhere. Let's see the third step, for example. To add some weirdness to the sequence. And let's change the second oscillator to be sine wave, not a cosine wave. Just like this, so change the sounds and uh, the sound even more. I don't know if I will use the delay today. Again, delay today. Sorry for this. But I, I don't know if I will use it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how it sounds like with the delay. Let's um, clock the delay. Sync it with our clock. Let's have here a dotted eighth, and here maybe a triple eighth. Yeah. Turn the feedback just a bit up. Let's take the uh, the low pass. So take that out the high frequencies and the low frequencies a bit. So we have something a bit more dark, let's say. 
And let's see. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, let's leave with the delay. Now let's add some distortion. I need some some warmth to all of this. Hey, why am I writing distortion? I know what I want. I want Debriatus. Debriatus, Debriatus from the Volt modules. So let's take uh, the oscillators out of the mixer and into Debriatus, and then from Debriatus to the mixer. And let's add some saturation. Yes. Yes, and now we can maybe even fold the wave a bit, just a bit. Okay. Nice. This is nice. Let's crush it a bit. Crash was nice. Okay, very nice. Now we can have another sequence. Let's add a nice bass. Let's use the editor to create a nice bass for us. The bass, but will come after the delay. Let's see. We will take a mono channel from CF. And let's make the connections. Okay, now we have a channel for our bass. And we have here four, um, three, four, three, two, one. No, I mean four steps that we can use. So let's change them to sequence mode in the stages. Let's take again the um, glide here all the way down. Let's take also the steps, the values all the way down. And now let's add a, another editor. And let's see, let's try to create a nice bass sound. So what shall I do? What shall I do? I need another VCA because I want to quantize this signal and another quantum. And I will use already another stack so I can easily take the octaves down. Of course I can also tune it, but it will be much quicker now and just to send it through stack so let's see let's use a slower clock a much slower clock let's say divided by 12 and gate our sequence and let's send this to the vca from the vca to quantum from quantum to stack from stack to the oscillator let's take the octaves to down two octaves down and let's send this already to our mixer here Oh man, that was loud. Okay. Now let's first of all change the steps here. sequence let's see let's initialize this editor let's add some sine waves 
let's try, let's mute for a second just the sequence so we can try and tune the even and odd uh, sine waves. Let's see. Oh, that's harsh. Maybe something like this, I don't know. Sounds a bit off tune, out of tune, but it's okay. Take it to one octave up. Let's see. Well, let's take the decay a bit. Let's filter it a bit. Okay, let's see. One octave down. Sounds okay. Let's see how it sounds with the sequence. Okay, now let's add another LFO and let's modulate the filter a bit. So again, we'll take the scale all the way down and let's send a sine wave to the filter input of the editor. This LFO is also from Bogaud, they're really nice. We have to turn it to slow mode and let's turn this a bit, the frequency a bit down. And let's open the scale a bit turn it a bit to the left the filter so it's uh, not so on the high pass to the right it's high pass to the left it's low pass I want more low pass than high pass so now we have also here a change in sound let's modulate also the balance let's take a triangle wave okay Okay, very nice. Let's save this again. Hmm, what else can we do? Let's add uh, another sort of a lead voice. Let's add another editator. Hmm, what shall we use? What shall we use? What I can do, I can take the same sequence for the bass. Oh, and I see here the... Ah, that's what I wanted to do for the... <laughs> For the lead voice because i just duplicated this uh, stack here and it duplicated it with seven semitones high so i will uh, i will uh, reset this so we have oh yes so the bass is not seven semitones higher oh this is low yes this is what i wanted okay so now let's use another stack this time i will duplicate I will duplicate it, but I will not change the semitones I will use for the lead voice. I will use the same voltage coming out. Coming out of here, actually. I can take it directly from Quantum because I want this voltage coming out from the stages, from the second stages. So I will just take the same voltage and I will leave it in seven semitones higher in pitch. And let's just initialize this editator and see how this sounds like. Oh, this is nice. Let's see. Mm. 
man this is nice okay I know what I want I want uh, my computer is already starting to uh, uh, be really slow I want the frequency shifter from squinky labs and what this will do it will shift the uh, frequency up and down and we have from a mono signal we have two two mono or one stereo signal with lots of movement so let's send the editator to the booty shifter the frequency shifter and let's pan the channels on the mixer all the way left and all the way right and let's connect from the booty shifter from the two up and down outputs to the mixer and now we can change the amount of shift and you can already hear oh yeah that's nice this is what I want to do what I want to modulate this here and we have CV input of course which is beautiful so let's take another LFO from Borg Audio this this time I'm going to um, make it a unipolar let's add a scope so I can show you let me just reset the scale here so now the LFO this LFO is bipolar negative uh, 5 to positive 5 volts I want just from 0 onwards so I will push the offset all the way up now we have 0 to 10 volts and I want maybe a bit less I don't want all the way to 10 I want something like this let's connect this LFO to the CV input of the booty shifter and make it a slow frequency low frequency so it's nice and slow very nice now we can start playing with the sound of the third fourth how much you have fourth editator Okay, and I want to modulate the filter just like this in those movements. So let's add, uh, let's add an ADSR again, Bog Audio, of course, lovely modules, and let's see. Let's take the same gate, or what we can use is the gate actually from the from Quantum, because every time there is a change in pitch, it will. Um, send out a trigger but all the time it will send out a gate as long as something is being quantized so let's use the gate output to gate our ADSR let's take the sustain all the way down what I want is a long attack and a not so long uh, release or decay and let's connect this to the filter input of the filter CV input of the editor Okay, and I need a VCA because this will go all the way up and this I don't want. So let's take a VCA to lower the range of the envelope. Zoop, all the way down. Let's connect it to the filter and see what's going on. Yes. Maybe even a longer attack and a shorter decay yes take the range down even more let's close the filter also a bit more What I can also do is I can use this envelope to control the booty shifter and not the LFO so it's a bit in sync so the uh, more open the filter is the quicker or the, the more shift amount you will get let's let's try this let's disconnect the LFO and connect it to the output of the envelope yeah 
this sounds nicer. So let's delete the L4. Very nice, very nice. It's a nice oscillator. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to play this live, I think. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's it for today. This was Editator from Bog Audio. Very nice module, very nice oscillator. And that's it. Now I'm going to tidy up this patch and I'm going to record it. And this will be my entry for this week's challenge. Uh, challenge number 19, I think, already. Wow. Okay, and that's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell, and have a good one.